thank you. I, I'm on. Um, I, I think that uh, we are in a very tenuous place right now because for those of us who want to help and give people a hand up, uh, there are different types of homeless. There are different issues that people face. And some people do want help and some people don't want help. And I think that the general population in the communities are coming to a point where their compassion is running thin. And I think that organized homeless advocates need to understand, similar to the, the issues that the businesses are facing with it's just getting to be a lot uh, of, of threatening and troublesome behavior. And I think when you see sidewalks that are covered and impossible to pass and, and people, we have a constituent who said, I can't go to my dentist anymore. I can't walk there. The route I take is impassable. When, when we have a lot of visual assault, personal assaults. Actually, one of our constituents was attacked by a homeless person last week while running. Um, it, will, it will make it very hard to continue to be completely compassionate and understanding. And I think that we have to divide up the different types of homeless population, the unhoused, and recognize that there are some unhoused people who can't help themselves and are a danger, not only to themselves, but to us as well. And I think that's what I am hearing more and more, where people feel the issues of defecation and feces on the sidewalk and impassibility of sidewalks is going to harm the ability to help the others because people are getting fed up. And that's where I think this kind of emotion came from. Um, I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying one way or the other. What I want to do is to say to those who work hard on behalf of the homeless that there, we can't pretend that everything is going to work out and that everyone wants help or wants to be housed or wants to behave in a way that they are welcome on our sidewalks. Because in some cases, that's not true. Merchants should not have to lock their doors during daytime hours to be safe in their own stores. And they should be able to have their customers walk through the doors and not fail to frequent them because there's a homeless encampment in front of their door that you can't even see past. So I think we have to recognize all sides of the problem and then work from there together to try and sort the solutions out. Um, I, I wanted to raise, and I don't know if I can do it while we're having this discussion, um, I wanted to mention that, for those who don't know, this neighborhood council area is the site of CD5's only permanent supportive housing project that is going to be- Barbara, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's not pertinent to this motion. Okay. So we really when the motion, right When the motion is finished, I would like to make one additional comment about some sheltering. Okay, I would like to 